students will perform a 500 yard swim, time not to exceed 12 minutes 30 seconds. Students will call out their last name and lap number as each lap is completed. Goggles or face masks are optional, but swimmers may not use swim caps, earplugs, fins, snorkels, a wetsuit or flotation, and or propulsion devices. The event is ended if the student completes the prescribed distance, receives or requires assistance, uses the overhand recovery, or uses the bottom or side of the pool to stand or rest. Next there is a 10 minute standing rest. Students will perform 50 push-ups in 2 minutes. The up position of the push-up, the arms are straight and the back, buttocks and legs are in line. The down position of the push-up, the arms form right angles and the back, buttocks and legs are in line. The upper portion of the arms should be parallel to the deck. The student may only rest in the up position while maintaining arms, back, buttocks, and legs in a straight position. Push-ups are repeated correctly as many times as possible in two minutes and are counted aloud by the student's partner. Incorrect push-ups shall not be counted. The event is ended if the student touches the deck with any part of his or her body except for the hands and feet, raises one or both hands or feet off the deck, fails to maintain back, buttocks, and legs in a straight line from head to heels, receives more than two verbal warnings for executing incorrect procedures. Next is a two minute standing rest. Students will perform 50 curl ups in two minutes. The down position of the curl up. The partner holds the member's feet. Any other means of securing the member's feet is not authorized. Example, the partner sitting on the member's feet. The student's buttocks must remain on the ground throughout the curl up, about 10 inches from the heels. The up position of the curl up. The elbows touch the thighs no more than three inches below the knees while the hands remain in contact with the shoulders or chest. The student may rest in the up or down position, but the hands must remain touching the upper chest or shoulders at all times. When in the up position, the student may only rest with the elbows touching the thighs, not on top of his or her knees. Curl ups are repeated correctly as many times as possible in two minutes and are counted aloud by the student's partner. Incorrect curl ups shall not be counted. It is ended if the student lowers his or her legs, raises feet off the deck, lifts buttocks off the deck, fails to keep his or her arms folded across and touching the chest, fails to keep his or her hands in contact with the chest or shoulders, remains in the down position for more than five seconds, receives more than two verbal warnings for executing incorrect procedures. Next there is a two minute standing rest. The student will perform six pull-ups with a two-minute time limit. The down position of the pull-up. The arms are fully extended. The up position of the pull-up. The chin is even with the top of the bar. The student shall not use a lateral, forward, or backward kipping motion while performing a pull-up. The student may cross or uncross his or her legs if desired. The event is completed when the student dismounts the bar or two minutes have elapsed. The event is ended if the student touches anything other than the horizontal portion of the pull-up bar, removes his or her hands from the bar, receives more than two verbal warnings for executing incorrect procedures. Next, there is a 10-minute standing rest. Students will perform a 1.5-mile run, time not to exceed 12 minutes 30 seconds. The event shall be conducted on a flat, solid surface. The student calls out last name and lap number when passing the timer. Upon completion of the final lap, the student will call out time and the timer will call out the time to the nearest second. The event is ended if the student stops running or walking other than to retie his or her shoelace or to remove foreign objects from the shoes, deviates from the prescribed course, or completes the 1.5 mile course. Common errors. Students expend too much energy early in the test and do not pace their performance, which may lead to failed events. Students fail to perform the exercises as prescribed, resulting in failure for that portion and an overall failure for the screening test. Grading criteria. All physical screening tests are graded as SAT or unsat. Students must receive a SAT for each exercise to pass the entire test, and failure to adhere to major safety requirements will result in an unsat.